Hi there, my most amazing artists. Ms. Pelavon here to show you how to create the rainbow colors on your line painting that you made last art class. So when you're doing the rainbow colors, you want to make sure that you're going in the order of Roy G. Biv. So we go red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. We don't have any indigo in our paint set, so we're just gonna skip, skip over that color. So we're just going to do these six colors today. We should not use black and we should not use brown. So when you're painting, you're gonna start with red and then move all the way down to violet. And uh, now, right now, I'm touching these paints and they're not wet. How are these gonna work? So what I need to do is I need to wake them up. So I'm gonna get my brush ready, touch the hairs to the lip a little bit, let it drip a little bit, and I'm going to wake up the red, wake up orange, wake up yellow, wake up green, wake up blue, and wake up violet. So I just put a little bit of water on them to wake them up and make them work. So now I'm ready to start painting. So I'm gonna let my hairs drip a little bit and I'm gonna dance like a ballerina on top of that paint, tickling the paint just a little bit. So see how the brush is nice and pointy, keeping ballerina toes? And now I'm going to put red at the very top, starting at the left. Should I start here? How about here? Up here? All right. So when I paint, I'm holding the handle and keeping my fingers out of that danger zone. And I'm just going to keep the paint above that straight line. Now, if your straight line isn't first, it's okay. You're going to just paint above that first line. Now, oh, my paint is drying out. What? Oh, this isn't working. It's so frustrating. I need to get some more water and paint on my brush. My brush is thirsty. See how it's all dry? So I need to get it wet again, let it drip, dance like a ballerina, and then paint again. So just like when we were painting with the black paint, if this paint's color is not the right color, you're just gonna put some more on top of it after it gets a little dry. It's getting thirsty again, I gotta dip again, dance like a ballerina, and put it on top. Now I want to switch my color to orange, so I'm gonna give my brush a bath. I gotta clean it off. And I can rub it in the bottom of that water bucket and then get the hairs clean. So next I'm going to do the orange. So I'm dancing like a ballerina on the orange. Is the orange gonna go here? Down here? Up here? Oh, great. So now I'm gonna just dance like a ballerina when I'm painting too, back and forth, back and forth. Holding my brush like a nice pencil. My brush is thirsty, so I'm gonna get some more paint. Painting in that whole thing, and I'm gonna paint the whole section orange. Get some more paint in there. Remember, when your brush is thirsty and needs more paint, you dip in the water, then dip in the paint. Give it a drink. Ballerina toes. And painting in that space. Oh, thirsty again. This paintbrush is very thirsty. Ballerina toes, and then paint with my ballerina toes too. What color is next? Oh, you said green, right? Green's not next? What is it again? Oh, yellow's next. Okay, so I'm gonna get my brush wet. Ballerina toes in the paint, and then paint the yellow. Brush is thirsty. So you're gonna keep doing this until you fill in the whole paper. And I'll show you what my paper looks like when it's finished after the video is all done. When you're all finished, you're going to carry your paper to the drying rack, and then you're gonna go line up at the door. You do not need to wash your hands. 
Actually, instead of lining up at the door, let's go back to our seats because some of you might finish pretty quickly. So next I would do green after I give my brush a bath, then I would do blue, and then I would do violet, and then I'm all done. I'm going to carry my paper to the drying rack very carefully and then go back to my seat to clean up my paint. I close the lid if my partner is done using it. And I put my paint cup and my paint tray back on the blue tray that's in the middle of my table.